the void, but somehow different this time. I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closer sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? But I'm not going to call my Jessamine. I told you here. When you're older. Last next year. You said that last year. Jessamine is younger than me, and she's a court every day. This is... Well... It's complicated. You understand someday. What did I do? I'll be good. I swear. Next year. I promise. games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. Young lady, Jessica. Let's hear it now. It was her. Delilah's life. She broke it. parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. Even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't.
wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for, for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel, I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Chindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to... Delilah Copperspoon. Or is it called when? What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. 
I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah, which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. and spindles made of zirconian umberwood. I thought the old Duke Theodanus uh, outlawed umberwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. My client's refurbishing her gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river cross shell to use as an ashtray, because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money so she gets the wood she wants. I don't like your face, but I can fix it. Hey, something wrong? We, you had it my point to be that sadistic crown ah! Ah! It's uh, impossible. Anybody? Wait, this is... Oh, maybe search the whole place. Uh, I don't have time for that. Oh! Hold still! Ah! 